Hello. I hope you are having very nice Friday wherever you are. Yesterday, World Health Organization declared international emergency about this novel coronavirus. It is spreading fast and time is not on our side. Yes, sorry about that. I found this um, very, very, very informative video from YouTube yesterday and it was published yesterday. CNA is the page and the person speaking is Michael Jung, perhaps called the name. And um, some person has made a comment there. Questions that he is going to answer, I'll answer here, are I read them to you as you are not able to read them yourself. Where did the Wuhan virus came from. Did the Wuhan virus ori originate from bats? What are the symptoms of Wuhan virus? How does the Wuhan virus spread? What is the incubation period? Who is at risk of becoming infected? What type of mask should I use to protect myself from the virus? Does it help to wash my hands? Can the Wuhan virus be killed by alcohol? Is there a cure for Wuhan virus? Is there a vaccine for the virus? What do I do if I have cough and runny nose and have recently traveled overseas? I suspect I was at the same place as a confirmed Wuhan virus patient. What should I do? Am I at risk of catching the virus from packages shipped from China? Can animals get infected? Is the Wuhan virus similar, similar to SARS or MERS? Will China begin to regulate its meat markets to prevent the consumption of wild animals? The last one was a bit disappointment for me. But this is very good video for you to watch and hear. So please do so if you will. And then there's this Dr. John Campbell, who makes very informative videos, presented easy um, the way that uh, if you are willing to learn, this this is very uh, very good opportunity for that. And um, uh, just like here, he shows based on what we know about viruses, novel viruses and such. Um, if, if we want to imagine the story's evolution, what, what are those systems that we need to make that picture, to have a look to the future. I, li I like how he presents these. So let's go to see what is the situation in the world with this virus. Should I refresh this? The number is three times more than it was yesterday. If I remember it correct. Anyway, it's it's it has risen a lot, and um, that number has risen. Was it one hundred seventy or so, some, something like that yesterday? 
and that number was something like 130. That dot there is new Italy confirmed to me. Okay. Branch confirmed five and uh, what is German situation? Four Finland has one. And still that is not in the correct place. That should be I show you I know my land. <laughs> Why is it in there? It should be there. The distance is it should be here. Where the sun is. I, I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm doing that. Maybe I am losing my mind. But anyways, Santa Claus lives here. And it is there. Oh, Lapland. It is there, the patient. It's not in Antarctica and some other places to are protected from it at this moment. Okay. We go back to this preaching moment. Reduce your risk of coronavirus infection. Clean hands with soap and water or alcohol-based hand rub. Cover nose and mouth when coughing and sneezing with his or flexed elbow like that. Avoid close contact with anyone with cold or flu-like symptoms. Truly cook meat and eggs. Avoid unprotected contact with live, wild or farm animals. The last bit here is something that I am a bit concerned of. Concerned of. Uh, I myself am that sort of person who likes more the nature than humans. And um, 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 I, I respect the nature a lot. And um, I have built some bad houses around my yard here. So um, the history record has no mentions. No mentions that by walking near bats gives you any viruses. It always has to be that you touch the feces and rub them all over your face and all over at areas and um, uh, get bitten that's the rabies but anyways get bitten by bat and that uh, that thing is able to be happened if you go to touch bats and um, and uh, the the way you may have this virus is to eat bat, perhaps rare. So I really don't like the idea that some people are speaking. I know there are quite large amount of uh, humans that are afraid of bats. Why? I don't know. I don't understand. I don't want to understand. This is not a question new to be answered. But people are are afraid of uh, snakes. I am not, and uh, 
<laughs> spiders, I am not. Mm. I want my yard to have bats and spiders. Uh, snakes and frogs and lizards and such. I like them. Mm. So the problem is, if asked from me, this is my page, so, so you ask for me. Uh, the problem is, and this is not about race, if my mom. Uh, would change her mind and would move to China to have such Chinese citizens there and she would sell bats in these meat markets. I blamed her equally about this situation, sorry mom. Uh, so this is not about race. This is about uh, common knowledge as you say uh, if you the the, um, the bad thing here bad thing here is that these people collect wild animals that are surely not used to be in small cages I don't want any animal to be in small cages but wild animals those small cages with different kinds of other wild animals and when they stress up the situation their immune systems got, goes low and whatever they have bacteria and viruses uh, push to be uh, to be transferred to humans more easily than if if you if you have a healthy chicken that has grown in a nice environment with with the hen where where that chicken has other chickens it feels it it may behave as chicken want to behave it's it's healthy it has great food and it uh knows to be in smaller places at times and uh, do not stress that much and perhaps uh, has medicine if needed uh, you don't eat even that chicken raw don't you and after you have perhaps killed that chicken as fast as possible uh, and you cooked the meal, you wash your hands, you wash the knives and such you have used by doing that food from that chicken that was happy when it lived. So uh, uh, in Finland we have strict laws about these things. We have strict laws about milk and cheese and, and uh, animal products. And uh, it's just common knowledge. Wash, wash hands and keep places clean. And animals need to behave as as their uh, as their as their species ask them. Otherwise, they got stressed and they uh, get sick easily. And we cannot push medicines too much to animals because it always affects our systems after that. So the point here is, I'm not a professor in this uh, area of expertise, this is just common knowledge. And this is not racism. The meat market has to, they have to have another way to enjoy, enjoy their life and have money from it. Please. Uh, ripping animals alive in the feces, piss and all the, all the other animals with their viruses and bacteria. Stressing them up first. You skin the animal alive. You, you wear no clothes there. 
perhaps the person who has taken the bat from the wild uh, eating it raw after the bat has stressed a lot from the situation perhaps have has got bitten from other bats or other animals there or snake so it's it's just something this has happened now two or three times this has ever happened in nature it has happened there in the meat market so please whatever your race there is i don't care about the race i care about the human acting with the knowledge human have change the culture there about that if you really want to have bats to be eaten uh, create a meat bat create a meat snake that you grow in facilities is that a word you create a, a house where you give those bats a great conditions to grow have a nice flesh without viruses and bacteria i'm not sure is that possible but it's your meat market if you are the one in there this should not to be continued anymore please so have a nice week and take care of yourselves wash your hands and um, don't be racist that's stupid that goes nowhere <laughs> stupid <laughs> racist people say that it's their problem that's like under 16 year old thinking and about that I have created another uh, channel that I would like to use to th things like that because this page is mostly for my singing and my music and whatever I puke out of my soul as an art so that's why I use my own name here um, f to that other channel I would like to produce perhaps if I learn to produce things like this I would like to put them there but let's see let's see have a nice weekend take care of yourselves make your world a better place